Okay, we are speaking to Yeni, who is a veterinarian for the Sumatran Orangutan Conservation Program in Sumatra, which is an island in Indonesia. Hello, Yeni. Hello. How are you today? Fine, thank you. How are you too? I'm fine. I'm just fine, thank you. What is the weather like right now in Sumatra? Mm, it's difficult to predict. At the moment, it's raining. But it's the before, two hours before, it's very hot. It's it's hot and raining? Yes. <laughs> oh, so it's tropical. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. <laughs> kind of like a sauna. Yep. Yeni, I understand you're a veterinarian. How did you get involved with working with orangutans? Um, since I'm studying in my university, mm-hmm. I'm... I'm very interested with uh, working with the wildlife in Indonesia because, as you know, in Indonesia, they are very rich with the wildlife animal here. Yes. One of is the orangutan because orangutan have similar uh, DNA with the humans. So this is very interesting for me, especially I'm a veterinarian. Yes. So I can work in together with the human doctor also sometimes. So you can really communicate with the orangutans? It's a good question. The relation, the relationship between me and orangutan is just, uh, uh, it's difficult to say. For the baby, maybe it's easy to build in, but for the big one, I never want to build in the relationship with them because uh, if I have the good relationship with them, it will be make me the human instinct. Yes. I always want to keep the orangutan. And yes. It will be so hard when I want to release them. So this is not good. So you don't <laughs> want to develop so much of a relationship with them because then when you release them into the wild, it's like losing a family member or a yes, friend. Yes, that's true. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I've I've actually read about that, and I when you look into their eyes, they seem so human. Yeah, the eyes is very very perfect. From the eyes, you can see a lot of his, a lot of history sometimes for this eye, so and it's very very sadness. Yes, how did you personally get involved with orangutan rescue? As I'm a veterinary, uh, I'm always doing the rescue for orangutan, so I'm going in the field. Sometimes we doing the rescue. We call the rescue for the isolated animal, so I should doing the rescue to so anesthesia them and then take it to orangutan. And bring to the safety place. Mm, I see. And this is not really good sometimes. I'm feeling sadness because uh, when we're doing the rescue, there's a lot of risks on there. Like example, orangutan will be falling down and we still cannot guarantee the safe place is a safe for orangutan. Very interesting. You know, as, as you know, uh, Helen Drone English has been involved in uh, orangutan, uh, in raising awareness among children and teens all over the world about the plight of the orangutans mm-hmm. in the rainforest. Mm-hmm. What would you like to tell the children and the teens all over the world who participated in the Hello My World campaign? Please start to be the green generation. That means uh, start the green to generation. aware with the environment. Yes, yes. Yes. And that means the start to aware with the environment in surrounding you, and also start to thinking about everything that you're doing today will have the impact in the future. So if you're doing the good today, it means uh, you will be safe the future. But if you're doing the bad things on today, you cannot keep the future. That's very, very true, and I really think that this upcoming generation, generations, respect Mm -hmm. and are are learning to take care of the wildlife and the environment. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, Yeni, thank you so much, and keep up the good work. We really appreciate everything you're doing. Thank you so much for your call. Thank you, and have a great day.